right. Hey, so first off, I'm rocking my braids. I know I got my little, you know, pippy long stocking, straight out of Compton braids, straight out of the joint braids. But, you know, I tried to tart it up with a little makeup and some earrings. Okay. But anyway. All right. So let's talk. Let's talk about one of my favorite subjects, sexy fragrances. Sexy fragrances, y'all. Fragrances that make people go, mmm. People have people all up on you like, you smell good. T -t -t -t. You know what I'm saying? Love a good sexy fragrance. Today, we want to talk about sexy vanilla fragrances. Now, I know not everybody likes vanillas, but I'm telling you, these are vanillas that you need in your life. These are vanillas that are going to turn heads. These are vanillas that are going to have people going, ooh, what you got on? These are vanillas that will change your thought about vanillas. So if you would like to see what these five sexy vanillas are that I'm talking about, don't go anywhere. Okay, so let's talk about these sexy vanillas. Now, I know some of you who hang out with me are going to be like questioning me like, well, why didn't you put this one in there, Lou? Why didn't you put this one? Well, I was trying to go with five and I tried to go with five that I don't always talk about. So I wanted to mix it up just a little bit. So just so you know, because there are some that y'all going to, some people going to be like, wait a minute. I know she did not forget this. One. I didn't, but I just wanted to give you all some new varieties to think about. So this one is Roberto Cavalli Deep Desire. First off, does this bottle not say sexy? Look at this beautiful, beautiful red, deep, uh, mysterious red on it. I mean, really, just come on. Let's just give us, let's give us a minute for the stunningness of this red bottle. Oh, anyway, top notes are pink pepper, mandarin orange. It has a little jasmine sambac in it, orange blossom, and cacao, a little cacao and a little chocolate. Then it has patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. It has this very sensual vibe to it. The cacao and the patchouli give it this chocolate vibe, and the vanilla gives, and the vanilla and tonka gives it this beautiful sweetness. And then you have that orange in there, giving it some, you know, fruitiness, but not too much. This is one of those sexy fragrances that kind of smells like someone could like taste you, but in a very uh, nibble kind of way. You know, this is the type of thing that um, you, when you wear it, you're going to, they're going to be like, wow, what is, what are you wearing? Because you're not going to smell like everybody else, but you're going to smell so intoxicatingly delicious that they're going to want to get close to you. So that is Roberto Cavalli's Deep Desire. Next up is L'Entre D Intense. Now let's just talk about this bottle that I have already got fingerprints on. Let's just talk about this bottle. This bottle is just, this says Wicked Dark Deeds, but it is, the top notes, is, it has pepper in it. It's got the tuberose, the orange blossom, the sesame in it. It gives it a slight nuttiness, but it's not overpowering because sesame can't overpower a fragrance. Then it has vetiver, patchouli, and vanilla. It has this sweet tuberose. Even though the tuberose is slightly creamy, that vanilla gives it a sweetness that just makes it one of those sexy tuberoses that this is one of those. Okay, let me tell you. This is one of those. It feels very semi, no, I don't want to say vintage. What it gives me the vibes of is film noir, femme fatale. You know, like somebody, like in those old 1940s black and white movies, the femme fatale who has that, you know, um, the, the cigarette in the long cigarette holder and she's lounging on the fainting couch with her, her feathered uh, robe on and her feathered, house you know house her slippers in the house that's who would wear lanta d intense so if that is kind of like who you want to be and want to vibe off of that go and get you this lanta d next up is mancera's black vanilla i know y'all said it's gonna be a mancera in here i don't know it almost didn't make the cut i'm just joking of course there was a mancera in here 
So this is black vanilla. It has bergamot, black currant, coconut, and white peach, a little Bulgarian rose, violet, and jasmine, followed up with vanilla and white musk. This one is just this, it's a, it's a uh, Fresh Girls Sexy Vanilla. So it has this sweetness to it that you can't really put your finger on it. You know, it doesn't smell coconutty, but it has this kind of kind of sharp tartness on it. But it's a really, a little fruitiness, but it's more about the florals, about the rose, the jasmine, the violet. And then as it dries down, this glorious, stunning, passionate siren of a vanilla shows up. This is the type of fragrance that will stay in someone's memory. This is because it's going to stand out and it has this, so wh whoever you're with when you're wearing this, especially if you know this is somebody that you're dating and you're not that, you know, you all aren't, you know, seeing each other, you know, don't live in the same space. This is that kind of fragrance that they're gonna remember you by. This is like one of those, oh, wait a minute, that scent. That sense, they don't, they, they never had, they never smelled any, they probably have never smelled anything like this. And they're going to be like, and this going to leave a, a scent memory that says, oh, this is all about her or him. And this is all about who they are. And makes me like, you know, give them that little shook up thinking they, that you are on their mind. So yeah, Black Vanilla by Mancera. Okay, so now this vanilla is a spicy seductive strong powerful for confident you know you are all of that when you walk in the room you are cool with everybody turning and looking at you because you smell so seductive this is ani by nishane I know there's other ones I need to try, but let me just tell you about this one. This is such a spicy vibe. Now, yes, it dries out to this, it's got a beautiful vanilla base to it. But what really gets me is the ginger and the cardamom and the pink pepper in it with the little oh, black currant, a little rose. This is so opulent and luxurious. This is a luxurious fragrance. This is when you are going to, when you are giving full out sexy, when you are giving 500% sexy, but it is about the luxuriousness of it. It isn't about this like, you know, club sexy. This is steak night sexy. This is, you know, after five, this is formal event sexy. This is dressed in your y'all are dressed in your best going out you know like when you're out on like on vacation and you're going out for dinner sexy this is what this one is that's that kind of sexy where you out on vacation and this is a romantic vacation you all are connecting and y'all having this romantic dinner and you're gonna be all dressed up and looking beautiful not that like low-key club sexy but that very stunning very this gonna be my partner for life sexy this is what this kind of sexy is right next up the final one is classic sexy. This is swanky sexy. This is, oh, when you walking in the room and you turning head sexy all the time. This is Dior Attic. You cannot, I know some people don't like Dior Attic, but the, the mulberry and the orange flower and the, the rose and then the vanilla and the sandal and the tonka bean, they are just this, beautiful classic well-bred swanky sexy that speaks without saying a word this is one of those sexies that you don't even have to say anything you don't have to say a word you walk in the room and you are and people turn their heads this is little black dress sexy this is just one of those you know i, I don't even have to say anything i'm wearing dior attic this is one of those grab them fragrances, you know, that grabs them right here and makes them go, ooh, giving them that little shudder when they smell it. Like, 
it's hitting them right, you know, it's going down them and making them go, whoa, that feels good. I'm just saying. But yeah, this is a beautiful, sexy, just classic, opulent, swanky, plush, lush vanilla. Dior's at it. All right, so that was it for five sexy AF vanillas. Tell me your sexy vanillas. Tell me about them. Do you own any of these? Do you consider them sexy? Or, you know, you're like, nah, Lou, you tripping. But so let me know in the comments. And as always, go on and give me a like if you like it. If this is annoying to you, go ahead and just, I don't care. Go on and say it. You know, I, I, it ain't going to hurt me. And I won't take it personal. But you know, hey, I got you. And as always, if you come and visit someone's YouTube home and hang out this long, you might as well go on and hit that subscribe button on your way out because that's just a polite thing to do when you hang out at somebody's YouTube channel, you know, in the YouTube home. All right. All right. So it's, it's your Lulu. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey whatever All right. if you would like to hear about some sexy vanilla fragrances for like this time of year go ah. that was terrible